let's start the school holidays. It's cruel to children. Slave labor. You're all doing a terrific job. Two or three more days and the beaches should be spotless. This place is a health hazard. Only for those who slack off. The storms dump this mess here. Now, if we don't clean it up, nobody else will. That's blackmail. This afternoon, we'll move on to the other beaches. Except you, Calvin. You can stay here. Billy can help you. But this is where most of the junk got washed up. Looks like you're stuck with this one, son. It just needs a bit of an airing, Mrs. Carney. No one's used it much in the last couple of years. We'll manage. Gavin thinks it's wonderful. But then he thinks everything about Cersei Island is wonderful. Oh, so you've been here before? You should see the back room, Mum. It's full of great stuff. <sighs> Julie's father was a bit of a beachcomber. I've unpacked, Mum. Can I go now? Yeah, I suppose so. Excuse me, Miss Jones. Where would I find Kelvin and Julie? How do you know Julie? Sure, they know how to have a great time. Trust Selby to think of a dumb stunt like this. Kelvin! Ah! Who's that? Who is he? It beats me! I'm here for two whole weeks. We can do stuff together. I don't know you. Take a hike. Like last time? Last time. Paradise Island Camp. Gavin! I had so much fun at your camp, I studied up about Circe Island, about the shipwreck and the cave and... Look, Gavin, you're bugging me. Go find somewhere else to hang out. Hi, Julie. Sorry, camp's closed. Mm. Well, you were a little tough on that kid. Who is he? Remember the Paradise Camp scam me and Kelvin ran? Gavin was our only client. That kid, he'd believe anything. Shipwrecks. He got that part right. There were ships wrecked off the island in the old days. Lunchtime. The beach is all yours, Kelvin. Have a really good time. Enjoy Slime City. Poor little kid. Just waiting for a chance to help out. Since when did anyone with money spend their holidays here? She's a city solicitor, so I wouldn't say she was broke, would you? And if she likes it here, maybe some of her mates would come here too. Nice bit of business, eh? Go get them, Charlie. Well, you're one, Helen. <sighs> I had to be mean before, you know, because of the others. I understand now. Mm. You see, when the storm washed all this stuff up, we knew it was our best chance to find clues to that... that shipwreck, um... The Carrillo de Avia. She was Portuguese. Mm, that one. Do you know what shipwrecks mean, Gavin? Buried treasure. Wow. See, that's why we were pretending to clean up the beach, and I'm letting you in on the deal. But you don't tell anyone. What about Billy? Nah, he's cool. Everything's cool. And don't forget that bit over there. Go on. The beach is looking a lot better. I'm proud of both of you. What about this, uh, Gavin kid, eh? Kelvin hates him. Who asked you? Now, you listen to me, boy. His mum's a potential gold mine, so you'd be nice to him, OK? Relax, Scraps. Now on. Gavin's gonna be my little buddy. This will keep my little buddy cleaning the beach. <laughs> what do you think you're doing? I think Gavin's cute. Oh, give me a break. I've just had breakfast. A 
early birds find the treasure. What time did you get here? Seven o'clock. Like your attitude, kid. Try that heap over there. Kelvin, I think I found something. Oh, well, what do you know? This could have come off the ship. Could have. Look at all the barnacles. This has been under the water a long time. The Corio de Asia. It's really out there. Oh, well, back to work. I mean, back looking for clues. Huh. But this is all the proof I need. Although I need more information. What about the seaweed? Uh, treasure! Gavin! Come back here. Trust me. Is that the lot? And anything on the ship's cargo? I'm trying to access my new security protocol. Why am I getting file transfers from the Maritime History Database? Sorry, Hermes, won't be long. I must protest, Susan. You're tying up our lines of communications with all this guff on tidal patterns, ocean counts, and cargo manifests. 100,000 escudos. What? It's a school project for Miss Selby. Oh. Proud of yourself? What? Conning Gavin into cleaning up the beach for you. Big mouth. Wait a minute. He doesn't look as though he's been taking it easy. He looks trashed. What do you expect? I've been slaving, cleaning up the beaches. Gavin got smart, huh? He's even dumber than I thought he was. He thinks he's looking for clues to shipwreck. So he finds the fake ballet planting. And he's so dumb, he thinks it's from some ship. So he disappears and I'm stuck cleaning the beach. <laughs> and the joke is, the little jerk thinks I'm his best friend. Sorry, Gavin. I don't believe you're taking him out of the dinghy. It's be nice to Gavin week, remember? So you didn't dob? Helen said I should take him out. Poor kid's lonely. Mm. But why do I have to come with you? You're his best friend. You sure you want to do this, Gavin? Absolutely. I had a really nice time on the fishing boat with your Aunt Helen this morning. Don't you ever sleep? You don't really think you're going to find the shipwreck. Oh, no. The water's too shallow. The ship would never come in this close. But I've calculated the tide patterns and ocean currents, and if anything was washed in towards shore, I think I know exactly where it is. Okay, Gavin. Go for it, mate. We're on your side. You hypocrite. Get real. He's having a great time. Something. I thought I might pull it up. 
I can read it a bit. De Manus Salvatore Bilbao. The captain wrote this. Tumulus Rex Tyrannosaurus. I almost understood that bit. It's just junk. But the real treasure may still be out there. Yeah, like gold and jewels. Let's go for it! <laughs> But now it's right here on the island. The treasure was stolen from the richest man in Portugal. He hired a local witch doctor to put a curse on it. A bad curse? Deadly. The thieves got away by smuggling the treasure on board the Correio de Asia. But one month later, they died of a terrible disease. Wow. A chest of treasure. <laughs> knock, knock. Yes? Working back late. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, yes. I was just going over the figures on superannuation funds for my retirement. Oh, good thought. Any idea when? <laughs> Sooner than you think. <laughs> they hit the reef. Then the captain went ashore secretly and buried the treasure because he was frightened of the curse. So it's right here? Somewhere. What do you mean somewhere? If you're holding anything back on... Kelvin! The last bit of Latin's a bit tricky. He mentions landmarks. Maybe you can work it out. We'll find it. One of the last things he says is this. This treasure is cursed and thieves will pay with their lives. 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39. Those aren't paces, they're little tiny steps. What's up your nose? Cause if you measure it wrong, we end up digging in the wrong place. And then you'll sneak back later and dig up the treasure for yourself. I wouldn't put it past you, Kelvin. Fine. No problem, I resign from pacing. Great, now who do we trust? I don't trust any of you. I vote for democracy. What? We all place together. 42. Slow down. Slow down. Slow down. Slow down. Watch out. I got a merit yeah, badge in pacing at Scout. Oh, you got a badge for pacing. Andrea Selby runs the local school here. Pleased to meet you. Mm, likewise. She's a mainlander, but... Uh, she loves it here on Cersei, don't you? Total convert. <laughs> <laughs> See? Everybody loves it here. Hey, uh, you should ask a party of your friends over next holiday. <laughs> Sorry, Charlie, I've already booked Club Med for next year. <laughs> but, uh, but your kid loved it here. I'll try anything once, even Cersei Island. <laughs> Rats. the stuff this deep? Well, it was cursed, wasn't it? Dig! 
Kelvin went berserk to get here and dig up the treasure, right? Yeah. So why isn't he digging now? Why isn't that crump kid digging? I don't trust the little runt. He's your friend. Then why can't he translate the last piece? He's holding out on us. Yeah? Be sneaky. See what you can find out. This is family, Geraldine. Gotcha. Crump kid sneaky. The question is. Who's double crossing who? Suppose Kelvin knows where the treasure's really buried. I wouldn't trust him as far as I could throw him. He's always been very sneaky. There's something fishy going on here. Some treasure hunt. All we did was move a lot of dirt. I never want to see another hole. Ever. You were right. Oh. He's figured out the last part of the translation. It's about a cave. The cave under the lookout. He hasn't seen it yet. Perfect. Don't tell the others, right? It's family. Trust me. Told you he's sneaky. Isn't he gonna get a surprise? Great, we've lost him. No, he went down that way. Oh, shut up, Brown. Billy fell over that log. I never. Oh, I'll keep. For real? 
They're unreal. Ghosts aren't real. If there's any treasure down there, we should get it. Like another curse? Love one. What is this? Wrong. <laughs> Ghostbuster. I, uh, found you two ghosts. This is not happening. I faked the captain's papers and sucked you all in. Why? I heard what Kelvin said about me, so I made up the curse to get back at you. And you know what the joke is, Kelvin? You are so dumb, you still thought I was your best friend. So if this is get even time, make my day. I've only got one thing to say to you, Gavin. You are so cool. <laughs> hey, okay. You trash the best. Let's join the rest. <laughs> Thank you.